The Blue Ridge Parkway is a 469 mile scenic drive through Virginia and North Carolina. With easily accessible overlooks of sweeping vistas and mountains, hikes to summits and waterfalls, and historic structures to explore. If you've already seen our first video, we're about to show you eight more spots to visit. Whether you decide to start near the Great Smokies, up by Shenandoah National Park, or somewhere in between, there's no wrong way to experience this year-round national parkway. You can even bring your dog on all the hiking trails as long as they're leashed. This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. Where we make videos about epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventures. Our first stop is Cascade Falls at mile marker 272. You will park at E.B. Jeffries Park and proceed along a fairly easy, roughly one mile round trip hike. Here you will cross over small wooden footbridges along Fall Creek. Eventually you will descend stone steps and come upon the first of the two overlooks of Cascade Falls. Continue on further down, another short but slightly steep set of stairs, and you'll reach the second, and our opinion, the better, of the two overlooks. When you return to the parking lot, check out the fantastic mountain views from the picnic table, and then a short drive to our next spot. While Tompkins Knob is not much of an overlook, our next spot is one of the oldest structures on the Blue Ridge Parkway, the cabin of Reverend Jesse Brown, believed to be constructed before 1840. Nearby is the Cool Springs Baptist Church, which was not so much a church itself as it was a shelter for other preachers to stay. Instead, the actual preaching occurred outside. Located nearby as well is a spring house, which typically is built over a spring to keep things cool. Rough Ridge at mile marker 302 is a short but strenuous two mile hike or so, with three great overlooks, views of Grandfather Mountain, and the Lynn Cove Viaduct. From the parking area, it's roughly a third of a mile to the first outcropping, which will be easily identifiable once you see the wooden boardwalk. Continue upwards along the boardwalk back onto the trail for another quarter mile or so. You'll eventually reach the second overlook and even better views. Your last ascent to the summit is roughly another quarter mile. You'll know you're there once you see the roped off path and the large rock boulders ahead. Plus, you'll have a panoramic view of the entire area. If you look closely, you'll be able to see the Mile High Swinging Bridge on Grandfather Mountain. Total elevation gain for this packed hike is 480 feet. And if you can believe it, this five pound cat, but possible dog, was able to navigate the steep rocks. If 
rough ridge tired you out, you're in for a little break. At mile marker 320 and easily driven past, the Chasteau View Overlook is one of the best vistas on the parkway. It requires an easy quarter mile or less walk along stone steps to a circular enclosure. Here you'll get expansive views of the Linville Gorge, Table Rock, and Grandfather Mountain. If you're ready to visit the highest mountain east of the Mississippi River, our next spot is just for you. And don't worry, you won't have to hike the majority of this. You can drive up most of this gorgeous mountain, park your car, and then walk a slightly steep paved trail for less than a quarter of a mile. At the top, you'll see the summit sign and a short pathway up to the observation deck. At 6,684 feet, the summit at Mount Mitchell offers amazing views in all directions. It also offers a great sneak preview of what to expect in the Great Smokies which we also made a video about. There's just nothing like a clear, beautiful sky sliced by encroaching fog. Don't feel like you need to crane your neck on the way up either, since going back down is gorgeous too. Our next spot is the Craggy Gardens area at mile marker 364. There are several beautiful viewpoints here to see in the Craggy Mountains. There's also a visitor center, several trails, and a 1.4 mile hike up to Craggy Pinnacle with more views. Oh, and Craggy Dome. The highest peak in the Craggies is pretty hard to miss too. Our next spot is not so much one spot, but many. If you're short on time and can't even walk short distances, but would love to see many great views, check out the many, many overlooks up and down the Blue Ridge Parkway. For the section of the parkway we explored, there were easily several dozens of overlooks, each within miles of each other. You will always see a sign just before one is coming up, and even if you don't, they're kind of hard to miss. Many of them make a great rest spot or a place for a picnic lunch. Lastly, we end with a Cone Manor at Moses Cone Memorial Park. Unfortunately for us, they were renovating the manor, but there is a craft center and a gift shop inside and a pretty spectacular view outside if you just want to relax. We want to give a big shout out to everyone who commented with stop suggestions on our first Blue Ridge video. This video consists of many of those places. You guys totally planned this trip for us. Thank you so much. We would love to hear more because we are nowhere near finished with this sprawling and beautiful highway. Thank you all for watching and we'll catch you on the sunny side.